beautiful people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or actually hearing my voice or you know hearing about me my name is Titulayo and it is really really nice to meet you so today's video as you can tell from the title is going to be on my review on the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place so I actually was requested to do this video and I'm just going to be walking you guys through my pros and cons on both this palette as well as the other Juvia's Place palettes that I own and in the end I'll kind of tell you guys which one of them because I do own all of your palettes so I'm going to try and let you guys know which one of them is actually my favorite palette Alright, so first things first, the Saharans palette is actually a bundle deal. It comes with an eyeshadow palette as well as the eyeliners. So as well as eyeliners. So first on to the eyeshadows. So there are a total of 12 colors in this eyeshadow palette and it ranges from metallic colors to matte colors i believe there are about eight metallic colors as well as four matte colors i really like the packaging on this palette um the packaging in the sense that the artistry of the packaging i like how colorful it is honestly i mean i will have i would have loved this palette better if it wasn't in the cardboard box because and i feel like that's a thing with juvia space most of your palettes are in this cardboard box and it's really hard to maintain palettes like this because once they drop they're as good as gone um most of my palettes especially my newborn one palette which is which is almost the exact same as this palette except from the colors are different that one's pretty much shattered like every color pretty much has gone through the rubbing alcohol thing to you know revive them just because everything keeps dropping i know i'm careless i'm sorry but at the same time i have other palettes that drop and still don't break so you know yeah maybe they can think about you know trying to get this beautiful designs on plastic i know it's going to be hard it's probably going to bump the price but that's just my thoughts on this palette so i really like how versatile the saharan palette is in the sense that i feel like it has colors that you can use um, I feel like the colors are usable for both daytime as well as nighttime. You can actually use this to work. You can use this to church. I feel like the, pal um, the colors here are colors that you can easily build up or mute down to a, to whatever like um, degree you actually need them to go to. It comes with a black eyeliner as well as a black as well as sorry. It comes with a black eyeliner as well as a brown one. I'm so in love with the black eyeliner. Like the color payoff from this liner is really really comparable to my Inglot 77 eyeliner gel. And that is the eyeliner that a lot of people have claimed to be the blackest eyeliner in the world whatever in the youtube community i would say so this actually dries down to give the um same pigmentation as well as the england 77 eyeliner gel and if i did have to pick one i would definitely be going with the juvia's place eyeliner and i'm not trying to snitch on my england 77 eyeliner gel but i'm not really good with using gel eyeliners and that's why i always shy away from using my england one but this eyeliner is so creamy, so it feels like I'm actually using a liquid eyeliner on my eye, which is something that I'm actually very, very comfortable with. So just because of how creamy this is, I am so, so, so in love with it. So my con when it comes to the eyeliner isn't much of a con, but to me it is. So I tend, I tend to never use any other colored eyeliner except from a black one. But I was wondering what I would be able to, you know, kind of use the brown eyeliner for. I was thinking more, I was actually gravitating towards a brow gel with this product. But the only problem with this is the fact that it has gold reflexes in it. And those gold reflexes in the light will actually reflect and make it look like my brows are blonde. So yeah, I tried this and trust me, the clip, you will never find it. It is deleted it has been wiped off the face of the earth just because i was looking all kinds of crazy so yeah um i feel like this is just going to be mostly used when i'm doing makeup for lighter complected people or maybe if i wanted to test something out with like a and i wanted to use this as a base this would yeah that's when i'm going to be reaching for this or maybe one of these days when i'm feeling you know kind of frisky or risky uh, risky <laughs> when i'm feeling kind of risky and i decide to use this as an eyeliner which um yeah i don't know i don't know how far or whenever that will be happening so one other thing i wanted to mention that came with the eyeliners is the brush and i i'm, I'm like 
this is just a complete package because the brush is a two-ended brush and it comes with the angled edge that you can use if that's what you're used to using to put it on your eyeliner with and it also has the really pointy end which is what I'm used to because that's what I used to fill my waterline as well as extend my inner eye um, eyeliner and this is what I actually use to cover up the lash band as you can see in the video so all in all I'm so in love with this palette um, this collection I would say the Saharan is really really just like a level up again for Juvia Space and unlike other companies that keep um, producing products and actually start going down in quality this is really really high quality however when I have to pick my best palette all in all from Juvia Space like I was requested to I would still go with my masquerade palette to me the masquerade palette just has it has about 16 colors which is four colors more and at the same time the masquerade palette actually is it has more neutral colors which will you know be suited more for work church or school or something i feel like the saharan palette there's just a limited amount of very very calm collected looks that you can do with this to me this is a baba and boom palette so overall um when it comes to the shipping as well as the customer service which is a huge thing when it comes to juvia space just because of the controversies they've actually had before compared to the first time i actually ever ordered from this company everything this time was perfect the first time i ordered from them which was sometime around last september there was a lot of controversies around juvia's place as a brand as well as their customer service those of you who have heard this story which not a bunch of you probably haven't i did i was one of the people who was unfortunate to be part of the controversies with juvia's place the last time or when they were first starting out um i did order some palettes that never came and it took me about two months fighting with the company to actually get my palette back but compared to this time i did not have that problem thank god i'm so happy their customer service this time was nice because I never had to interact with them, so I'm so pumped. And I'm actually, like, honestly, I believe in second chances for a company, so I will be patronizing Juvia Space if they keep bringing out really nice palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions that I did not touch in this video, please make sure to leave those in the comment section, and I will make sure to reply. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye. Chat rubbish, chat rubbish, the way that goes for your name behind you. You buy one thing that no one buy two. So let's make it sure that they're better than you. But as you they do me, don't go do you.